you suck at prompting AI, I suck at prompting AI. We all suck at prompting AI. When OpenAI first released the O1 models, we all learned that AI can respond better by creating thought tokens for context to our prompt before responding to make the models respond more intelligently. Today, we will learn by coding that AI can also improve the response quality by rewriting our lazy written prompts as an expert prompt engineer. Instead of having our large language model respond directly to our prompts, we can use a separate chat generation call to rewrite our prompt after intelligence interpreting it and trying to figure out what we want from that prompt so that the prompt has a far higher chance of getting the language model to generate the dankest response possible. As always, all of the source code is available for AI Austin Pro members on my Discord server. Now jumping straight into the tutorial, you will need the Grok and Colorama Python libraries installed to follow along building this program on your PC. If you do not already have the latest version of these two dependencies, you can run these commands in your terminal app for Mac and Linux users or the command prompt app for Windows to install these two dependencies. Now in a code editor, you will need to open whatever folder you would like to create this program in and create a new Python file. You can name this Python program anything, just make sure it ends in .py. So your code editor will create a Python file. On line one, we will import the grok class from the grok library. On line two, import the init function as well as the for and style classes from the Colorama library. On line 4, you can set your Grok API key in this string named Grok API key. If you do not have a Grok API key already, it's very simple to create a free usage API key on grok.com in the dev console. On line 6, we call the init function so Colorama can change the message header colors in our command line interface. On line 8, we will set the system message for the assistant conversation. And on line 9, add the system message to the assistant convo list as a dictionary for formatted for the Grok Conversation API. Now for the magic in this program, we can create a system message with the instructions on how we want the AI prompt engineer chat responses to be generated. Basically here we are instructing the AI model to interpret what the user's prompt wants and rewrite it as an expert prompt engineer. And most notably, we also need to instruct the model to not format any headers or explanations of the rewritten prompt as we will have the program simply take the output from these conversations to be sent as our prompt to the assistant chat. And after that system message, again, we will create a convo list for this conversation's message. After that, we can define a function in our program to generate the grok responses that takes a convo input parameter. This function will simply connect to the grok API generate a response to any given input conversation list and return the response text without the thinking tokens as I am using the R1 model. If for any reason you want the thinking tokens in this program, you can simply remove the reason underscore format parameter from the API call. Finally, we need a main function to handle the logic of the program's conversation flow. First, set the assistant underscore convo and optimize underscore convo lists as global variables so that we can make changes to them in this function that save to the list outside of the function call. Next, create a while true loop to make the program repeatedly loop through our next seven lines that we will write in this function. In that while true loop, first set the prompt, which will store our prompts typed as inputs directly into the command line interface. We'll also use the Colorama library to set the prompt header as a light blue to make them easily distinguishable from the optimized prompt and the responses in the command line. Within a variable named optimized prompt, we store the results from the generate grok response function on a list containing the optimized message and the formatted prompt input. To show what the model is generating as your optimized prompts, simply print that optimized prompt with a bright yellow header. With that displayed, we can add the optimized prompt to our assistant combo list. In assistant response, store the results from the generate grok response function on the assistant combo list. Then we can print that response generated for the optimized prompt as our assistant response with a bright green header. On the last line of the program outside of your main function by ensuring no tabs before this code, call the main function to start up your AI prompt engineer enabled chat assistant command line app. Save the program and now you can run it in VS Code by hitting this play button. Another way to run it is in your terminal app for Mac and Linux users or in the command prompt app for Windows. You can copy the file path to the folder with the Python program using the cd command followed by the file path to change the command lines directly 
directory and then write this command to start up the program in that command line window. You can now simply type your shitty prompts, let the language model rewrite them as an expert prompt engineer, and enjoy your AI generated responses that don't suck as a reflection of your prompt quality. This has been AI Austin. I will see you in the next one.